Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Whether you... For a thousand years, the Indians of the Great Northwest have talked of the legendary monster called Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Whether you are a believer or not, here's a dramatic new video of something. Oh, God. There's two of them, I guess. It has to make you start thinking. Doug Bruckner has the story. It's one of the most famous home movies ever made. Taken more than 25 years ago by an amateur photographer named John Patterson. A huge, hairy, human-like beast walking upright through the Northern California forest. Bigfoot? Many believe it was. Certainly, it was the closest thing yet to scientific evidence that the legendary creature, Sasquatch, was out there. I haven't seen another movie on film that uh, compares to that, and quite frankly, I don't see, think that any of the ones I have seen are even real. I think they're all faked. Patterson's is real. There have been thousands of Bigfoot sightings, but why was this the only film, the only image the world had of the beast? Well, we're about to see a remarkable new video shot just weeks ago. Oh, God. There's two of them, I guess. The discovery of this incredible new video came a month after we learned of recent Bigfoot sightings from a group of people who should know. For a thousand years, the Indians of the Northwest have kept the legend of Bigfoot alive in campfire stories and in ancient tribal artwork. But for Idaho's Nez Perce tribe, Bigfoot's more than just a campfire story. Late this summer, this boy, Emil Arthur, reported seeing a huge creature steal a deer off a meat rack. A few days later, Becky Johnson and seven friends spotted something on a hillside. They helped us reconstruct what happened. For some reason, I just happened to look up on the hill, and I said, Emil, come here and look at this. Come, what do you think that is? Is that what you saw a week ago, you know? Does that look like, it looks like a Bigfoot or something up there? He says, yes, that's what I saw. I had to stand about, oh, seven, eight feet tall. It was broad. There was no neckline. I was walking on two feet. Susan Bouchel is the curator of the Nez Perce Indian Museum. The museum is hundreds of yards away, and she saw it, too. It wasn't a human. It was just too large to be a human. I know it wasn't a bear. I worked at Glacier National Park for 10 years. I've seen enough of grizzly bears and black bears, seen them both, you know, just on all fours and standing erect. I know what they look like, and it was, it was absolutely not a, a bear. Only a few fuzzy tracks were left behind. But just a week later, an incredible video came to light. It came from this man, Paul Freeman, a man who studied the legend for years. If you're barefooted and set your foot in there, look like a little baby's foot in that track. It's probably two or three days old. They've been rained on. Spurred by the track discovery, the expedition even tried a helicopter armed with a heat-sensitive camera called a FLIR. The FLIR makes anything warm light up like a lantern. It's the same technology used by the military during Operation Desert Storm. Police use the infrared, too, in their helicopters to help track down suspects at night. We set out before dawn, when the ground is at its coolest and large animals are on the move. This is where you got the first sighting, right here. Yeah, right there. We search a 20-square-mile area mapped out by Freeman, but there are only false alarms. There's a whole bunch of animals right there. Got them? Oh, yeah, there's a whole yeah, group. You got them, Tim? There you go. All right, let's go down and see what they are. There are deer. The FLIR lights up many animals, but so far, nothing that even resembles Sasquatch. We're going down the watershed drainage right now. Right here where we're at right now would be the most probable place, in my estimation, that we would spot something. If there was a Bigfoot, this would be his sanctuary, but the tree cover's too thick. It's like looking for a deal in a haystack. But it was back on the ground that the expedition took a strange, dramatic twist. Our guide, Paul Freeman, told us about his private tape, a tape he at first was reluctant to reveal. Now he agreed to show us. We weren't prepared for what we saw, a huge, hairy, human-like beast walking upright through the forest, an image incredibly similar to the Patterson film shot 26 years before. And Bigfoot tracker Freeman had an equally incredible story to go along with it. 
It began one morning in August, Freeman said. He had taken his video camera to a watering hole where he said he often found tracks. Yeah, it looks like they've been here. I just walked around to where the spring runs into the pond, and there were their tracks in the mud, and uh, it was still muddy. It hadn't even settled yet, so I said, gee, man, Christmas, you know, one's already been here. It just must have run out of here. Freeman said he followed the fresh tracks, and then he saw it. I hear the brush popping and stuff. Oh, there he goes. Although the camera doesn't seem to catch it, Freeman says he spotted two of the creatures. Well, the one, the big one I, I first filmed was, uh, looked like it was about seven and a half, eight feet tall and weighed 700 pounds. And then I, I lost it in the bush and I was looking with my camera and I seen this little one that's coming right at me. Two of them, I guess. Freeman says the animals went into the timber. He followed. And that's whenever they started making all their noise. They screamed just uh, like a cougar screaming, you know, just, but man, it makes the ground shake. Then Freeman says he hid in a ditch. I was like a little five-year-old. I was crying, and uh, I asked the man upstairs, you know, I said, hey, if you let me get out of here alive, I'll never bother these critters again, and I'm not going to. There are doubters who still say Bigfoot is a myth, like National Forest Ranger Rod Johnson. As many people as we have out, I find it kind of strange that only one or two people are the only ones that ever see it. And we have people out there day after day after day, uh, six months every day in the field that have never seen a sign. They just don't want people up there, you know. If they tell the truth, they've probably got a building full of plaster casts and twisted off bushes and, and hair samples and everything else, you know. Nobody's yet proved this is or isn't tape of the beast that's frightened and eluded mankind throughout the ages. But there's the haunting similarity between this video and this. Images separated by 26 years. It's the real thing. They're there.